good morning. It's a really chilly day here in Paris. It's like 9 a.m. I'm just heading over to the Rodin Museum to do some work with Get Your Guide. I'm meeting up with one of my local friends here first for Espresso and Pan Chocolat, as you do. And then uh, we're gonna get to check out the museum, which I'm super excited about because I've never been before. Okay, so the Rodin Museum is gorgeous. Definitely, if you go, plan to spend at least two to three hours um, wandering around there. If you like art, if you don't, you can probably like speed through it in like an hour and a half. But honestly, like there's so much good stuff there. Like I think I easily could have spent like the entire afternoon had I not like had other things to do. Um, I definitely want to go back in the spring or summer when the garden's a little more in bloom. That was the one thing I kind of wish would have been a little bit better, but overall it was a nice sunny day. Uh, so I was able to chill out there for a little bit, read a nice, you know, well, part of my book. Not the whole book, because I don't have that much time today, but uh, it was gorgeous just to like sit and chill in the sun. And oh my gosh, like the works by Rodin are amazing. There's a lot of um, Egyptian art there as well. He was a big collector of Egyptian art and actually had this whole plan for when he died that he wanted all of his art like turned into this museum. Uh, so it's really interesting to think that like this was all kind of part of his grand plan. Um, definitely, if you're in Paris, add it to your list. It's a great museum to check out. And now I'm just walking. I'm gonna get a little bit of lunch and then I'm heading to 59 Rivoli, or Rivoli 59. Rivoli 59, which is a free gallery that basically exhibits I want to say like 25, 30 like artists. Uh, it's supposed to be really cool, so we'll see how it goes.
So going to Rivoli 59 was one of the coolest things I've done so far here in Paris. Uh, the best part is it's free, but oh my god, like the art's insane. You actually get to see the artist painting, which is really cool. They're all like right there. You can ask them questions. It's, I mean, I was blown away. I really, I was expecting it to be cool. I wasn't expecting a ton. And like, oh my gosh, it just, I feel like I just want to rave about it to everybody now because it was honestly that cool. Like, I don't, I don't know why more people like don't go there when they're visiting Paris, other than the fact they probably just don't know it's there. But seriously, coolest free thing to do in Paris ever go to 59 Rivoli, you won't regret it. Oh, and the best part is, they're like, hours are kind of strange, but it works. Like they're more or less open, I think it's like from one o'clock until eight o'clock at night. So you can do a museum during the day like I did and then easily swing by and see 59 Rivoli on your way home or, you know, before drinks and dinner. It's ideal. Just do it, you won't regret it. somewhere that's open and selling a vin shot which is hot red wine it's really delicious um if you haven't had it before i know it can sound a little strange but trust me it's a good decision especially when it's a little chilly like this it's the perfect drink to walk with um so salty. 